Hi guys and welcome to the Sheffield Wednesday Coventry City review. If you could like, subscribe and share the video, much appreciated. I think we're on 820 subs now. We're flying through that thing, trying to get to a thousand at some point. Uh, and the likes just really help a lot. So, this week has been an interesting one for Wednesday fans. We needed to win that Forest game, we didn't do. And now we really need to win the Coventry game. So hopefully we can do that. Once again, I am the optimism of positivity here. I think we might actually get something out of this. I'll probably be a depressed mess at the end of it. I like to go into the game a bit positive and see what can happen and see how we play and see if we can even score a goal. Um, so the team news for the Coventry game is as followed. Kieran Westwood is back in the quad. He's straight back in the quad, so no room for Wild Myth. So the quad today is... Uh, Westwood, Palmer, Lees, Dunkley, Shaw, Harry, Bannon, Pelopesi, Reach, Patterson and Windath. Subs are Wild, Myth, Van Aken, Deli Batshuayu, Penny, Uruguay, Brown, Hunt, Kachunga and Rhodes. Would have liked to see Brown and possibly Rhodes and Kachunga start. For some reason he don't start them. People are getting a bit annoyed by it, but we'll see what happens. So the commentary team is as follows. It's Ben Wilson, Ostergaard. Mephrazen, uh, Allen, Biamo, O'Hare, Shea, Hallamet, Walker, McCallum and Debu. The subs are Camp, Pathic, Gills, Bayakio, Golden, Shipley, Dakota, Canastara and ba Batga. I have butchered those names, but they are not the team. They're not my team, so I'm not going to really know the players' names. So, we need a win today. We desperately need a win. Um, just to try and get something going. Try to get some sort of motivation going. Interestingly enough, this morning I saw that somebody posted that we're looking for a, I think it was an accountant or an accountant's assistant. Uh, oh, dude, I don't know what phone. found. Uh, there it is. Uh, accountant assistant, which... Ironically, it's kind of funny when you think about what's just happened with the wages and stuff. Let me see if I can find it. I may put it in the video later. Uh, or oh, photos. Sheffield uh, went are seeking to employ assistant accountant. The successful author will be that help and responsible for aspects of club payroll, bad cash flow preparation, and the monthly managing the accounts and financial reporting. No surprise that that's up and there's a job application for that after what we found out this week. So let's try and get three points. Let's see if we can get three points on the board. Let's see if we can get into double figures for the season on points. And let's go from there and finger cross we have a good game. Not a bad first half for Wednesday. Uh, best bit of football we've played in the first half in a while. Had some chances, nothing properly clear cut. Uh, but we looked good. We looked like we were trying to open that door up, seeing if we could get something out of the game. Uh, we. My only concern would be that we have once again had the situation where we are trying to get the ball and was really, really struggling with getting the ball forward and then trying to take the shot, shots and chances. But the other good thing that I can say at that half was Liam Short was fantastic. If we can get things sorted, we'll be great um, in this half. If we can get a goal, playing two up top is fantastic. It's working really well. Westwood done well in the back of at the net. Um and we, the only thing I've got is we keep giving the ball away a lot. They've had five shots and two shots on target. We've had six, one on target. It's not a great game if you're watching it as a neutral. It's very scrappy. It's no team can quite get their foot on the ball properly. When the Coventry do, City do, they're lightning the fast and we're having to defend well. But we need to come out there and try and get it more at goal. But at half time, I'm happy to say for once, it's nil-nil.
Well, well, well. We scrapped in that second half, but we got a goal. Tom Lee with a great header. Good ball in by Bannon. And it was a game where it would just keep coming and coming. You were trying to hope that something would happen for us, and we did. We got a goal, but we tried to get a bit further forward. We could have actually sealed the game completely. Windath had a chance to have it, and he hit it straight at the keeper. Could he played in uh, Rhodes? Could have done, maybe. But the cost of this victory has seen a lot of players go off injured. So, Bannon gone off injured. Uh, looks like he had a knock. He had his leg iced up. Uh, Windath had gone off with a bit of him iced up as well. Uh, Palmer took a bit of a knock. You're hoping these are not big injuries. These are injuries that they can heal from, get the rest and recovery they need, and then go on to the game on Boxing Day versus uh, Blackburn Rovers. But it's a big win for confidence for the players. But in terms of confidence, it was great. You saw the smiles at the end. You saw it had a bit of pressure off the shoulders. And to make matters even better, we're off the foot of the table. We're into the du double points now. We're on 12 points. We've hit that kind of mental thing of getting out of the single digits. We got to win. That was a much, much needed win today. And... We need to try and push on from this in Blackburn. And we need to just try and see what we can do next. It's huge for the confidence. It shows that we can do it. But we could have done with killing the game off. Rogue came and I thought he had a fantastic game when he did come out. He was always pressing, looking good. The players for me, for the man of the match, it is, it's a joint for me between Liam Shaw and Tom Lees. Absolutely outstanding today. I think Dunkley and Tom Lee partnership is really working really well there so I'm very happy to just get all three points today just before the little Christmas period it's a great win uh for us it's a win that was needed uh if we lost if we would have been really in real trouble but I'm happy to say I'm saying that we won a game again so let's see what we can do in the next game uh have a merry Christmas everyone and a happy new year and I'll see you on boxing day for the Blackburn Rovers stream.